Yes, is a fashion designer who burst onto the scene and made quite a name for himself. And I am so lucky to be sitting here with the very talented Jason Wu. Thank Hi, Jason. You. Do you, first of all, I have to ask, did you see my leather skirt, ladies? Do you approve of my, do you approve of my look? You, you're definitely working. It. It's, it's definitely happening. It's, uh, am I Miss Wu today? You're very Miss Wu. <laughs> you're the quintessential Miss Wu, actually, I would oh, say. quintessential Miss Wu. Listen to that. We're going to explain all about Miss Wu, but first, I have to talk to you just about your life. You're only 30 years old. Well, I mean, and you are, like, really the man. When do you think your success really took off? Do you think it was with the First Lady's help in that inaugural ball? I'm still not sure if I'm quite successful yet. No, you are. Uh, you, know, <laughs> you have arrived, honey. I feel, I feel, I feel, always feel like, you know, I'm still sort of learning as we go. But, you know, to, to have had the experience of dressing the First Lady um, for inauguration yeah. four years ago was sort of, amazing I mean it was life-changing for sure because you know I moved to America immigrated here yeah. to um, to do to be a designer. You came from Taiwan right? Yeah I came yeah. from Taiwan I, I mean moved around I lived in a lot of places but um, to to sort of be a part of American history was not something I had ever expected I'm or sure. thought we could do and or I could do and 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 you know that was something that um, you know I was sort of really shocked but immensely proud to be a part of. I'm sure and Continue everybody after that dance with her and the president and Beyonce everybody talked about that dress for weeks and weeks and weeks. What went behind the inspiration for that dress for her? Well the dress was really just sort of what I wanted to make and in, 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 in such a way I didn't really have a lot of time to make it. I was sort of given the project and I had to make it yeah. and it was the first idea that popped in my head. It was like I wanted to do a white dress so you know it was really about designer and instinct <laughs> and uh, and, and 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 it worked out, and I. I think I, it did. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just, um, you know, I, I just thought that that was such a special moment, yeah. and that was such a special moment for the both of us. And, but you, she, you, she wears a lot of your dresses. I She's mean, you guys really have a relationship. Great. How does yes. that work? Did she, could she call you and say, oh, well, I'm going here. Can you whip something up for me there? Or do you just think of things and you say, which well, I think she'll like this. I'm going to send this over. I think she gets her, like, quarterly Jason Woo's, I think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we're seeing a montage of pictures of her wearing... Like the Jason, Jason Woo um, mailing list. I think she's on it. <laughs> you think she's on it? Right. I think one. so. You don't want to mess up that one. <laughs> well, let's talk about why you're here today because, sure. of course, there's the namesake line that we see yes. the First Lady in and yes. in the other celebs. But the idea is that you wanted to create a line that was more affordable and give some yes. pieces that will last forever. Investment pieces. Yes, definitely. I mean, you know, investment pieces is important to me. I mean, I've always been... My my uh, my theory behind making clothes has always been about making clothes that last mm. and they're timeless, that are beautiful, feminine. And, and um, you know, when I started my label six years ago, um, you know, I started the luxury price point, which um, is expensive. Right. And well, let's bring them out while we're talking yeah, about it, sure. why don't we? We're going to start off with the first look here. And this is going to be the... Stripes are big for you. I mean, when you think of Jason, well, you do think of stripes, right? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, stripes. Yeah, hello. Stripes. I've got on the stripes. I mean, I thought this was one of sort of the quintessential Jason Wu look. And, and you know, we translated for the Miss Wu collection here in uh, black and white cashmere and uh, with a uh, with a sweatshirt detailing and a leather skirt which I think is just so timeless something you really want to have all the time and it's really seasonless because you really don't know the, the weather is kind of weird nowadays yes, so, you're so leather skirts can take you very far right because you can wear this on in the winter with tights yeah. you can wear it in the spring like you with a bare leg this is great I like this and look. I love the British khaki trench you know in the back you can turn around it's a little broken grain, oh, so it's yes. high, these little feminine details, special, yes. but you know, something you can really own for a long time, it just goes with just about with everything in your closet. Alright, well we've got more leather in our next look, so let's bring out that look right now. This is a big trend for leather, or for spring, you think, yeah. is the leather. I mean, leather, leather, I mean, it's spring, I, I showed a lot of leather on my, um, on my, runway? Sh on my runway show um, in September, but, you know, this was, this is sort of like your quintessential motorcycle jacket, that's the investment piece, and... So you every know, lady should have a motorcycle jacket. Every lady should have a okay. motorcycle jacket because, you know, dresses dressy things down uh -huh. and it dresses casual things up. So yes. it's something that, you know, just throw it on and it really can take you very far. And then, if, you know, you want to take the jacket off, the dress underneath is one of my favorites from the collection. It's sort Beautiful. of very, it's very woo. It's, it's um, very woo. You know, it's got the embellishment. It's got the shape. It's feminine. And, and it's really like, I, I call it the evening dress for day because, you know, I, I love the way she's worn it with a jacket for day yes. and then you just throw on a pair of strappy sandals and it's great for cocktail uh, it's perfect
perfect all the way around. It's very woo, ladies. And look at that trend that we're shooting on the socks. Now, you paired socks with stiletto? Well, I call that the very Miss Wu look because, you know, it seems like, you know, Miss, the, the idea of Miss Wu was that she was a little more dressed down than my main collection. Okay. And she's a little more, um, she's she, she's a little girlier. And I, I love the idea of um, pairing the short socks with uh, the pump. It just um, sort of edges up the, sh the pump. Exactly. Isn't All right. Look? Thank you so much. That's a beautiful look. Now, we talked about you like to create a girly look and a yes. very feminine look. And yeah. you're going to see this, too, in the Miss Wu collection at Nordstrom. I mean, no, sort of the pleated skirt mm -hmm. and the great print is something also very Wu. And I wanted to translate that into Miss Wu as well. And, you know, sort of this sort of great dress that's yes, just, uh, you know, you can wear it all the time. It's timeless, Breezy, too. timeless. You know, the print is gorgeous. The color is great. And... You know, it's a it's a it's a it's a great subtle print for people who are maybe not used to wearing prints, and it's a really great silhouette, and the pleats really sort of give the body really great shape. I like it. All right, thank you so much. Now our last look. This was really inspired by the '60s theme. Is that true? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, the '60s has always been very close to me. I mean, I love it. Gene Seberg, um, New Wave Film, yes. Jane Burke, and that's that very unfaithful. Those are inspirations behind Miss Wu Collection, and and this dress sort of says it all. Yes, it does. And this is sort of in that bold print, a little shift um, silhouette. She's carrying a bag from my main collection, um, also available in Nordstrom. And, and you know, this is just sort of an easy throw-on dress. You wear it flats, wear it heels. And, uh, again, and the first lady's worn this fabric, too, hasn't she? She has, actually. Um, yeah, Mrs. Obama was the first to wear two of Miss Look it, uh, there it is. Two of my creations from the Miss Wu collection um, during the campaign. So, you know, I, I thought there was no one better to debut the collection. Of, but of than course. The all right, let's see all of our ladies' looks in one more time. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. If you want more information about the Miss Wu line at Nordstrom, check out our website. Jason, thanks so much for Thank stopping so much. by. It was a lot of fun talking you with you. You should be up there because you're okay. Miss Wu as well. Say no more. <laughs> Anytime I can. Come here. Excuse me, ladies. Uh, after the break, actor Anthony Mackey joins us live in studio. And then later, food fight.